last month I had 1.2 million visits to my site because um, there's a number of people interested in tiny houses. <laughs> so I started Many Motives. It was really just a, an opportunity for me to kind of document like where I put the wires in the wall so when I go to hang something up, like I don't injure myself. I never really had a construction project. So that's really where this project came from, is I needed some hands-on you know, experience. How does you know, the stud meet the top plate, meet the ground? You know, like actually doing it is different than drawing it. Everything in here, down to the light fixtures in the kitchen, actually, I hand blew those. But everything in here, uh, I built. I did the electrical, the plumbing, you know, I did the framing. I really wanted the experience of working with all of those systems. There's several different sustainable features I, I incorporated in this also that I'm, I'm using it as a testing facility so that when I talk to clients in the future, I can tell them about radiant floor heat and my experience with it rather than theory about it. I work at Johnson Architects. It's a firm in Meridian. It's, it's a small firm. So I work out there. It's just my boss and I. I am associated with the United States Green Building Council. It's really one of the reasons I got into architecture. I'm, I'm interested in all kinds of alternative um, dwellings and alternative construction methods. One of the best things that I did at the University of Idaho was coming down here. The Integrated Design Lab is a lab associated with the University of Idaho, and that put me in the situation to be in front of basically all of the professionals in the valley. You don't design something to be green, you design something and then you incorporate these aspects of it. We have a lot of health problems caused from our buildings and if you can impact that, you can impact the world. Mm -hmm.